Congressman, good to see you. Thank you. Um, look, big vote coming up uh, in Congress about aid for Israel and Ukraine. Uh, does the fact that the Israelis have now struck uh, put Republicans who are skeptical of foreign aid, I'll use that word generously, um, in a little bit of a pickle here? No, I don't see it as that. It, Iran hit in Israel 300, you know, you've seen the numbers and, and you saw, you know, dad gum, not a single one of them hit, maybe one did. But the reality is, is that um, Israel hit them back. And I think it showed that Israel can hit their target. Iran, of course, there's some question, I think, in some intelligence circles, whether they were just trying to deplete the Iron Dome and see what its capabilities were. But they did not deplete the Iron Dome, and the capabilities are incredible, which Iran does not have. So, I, I, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, if, we, if, we look, if we look forward to the, what's happening in Congress, right, um, Republicans are on the verge of complete dysfunction over supporting our allies, meaning Ukraine um, and Israel, in moments of real desperation for both of our allies. How do Republicans come out of this weekend looking like they're strong on foreign policy? Well, first of all, we've supported and we continue to support Israel. They're, they're basically get automatically every year a couple of two and a half billion, I believe it is, or three billion dollars. And we've since we've replenished the Iron Dome um, more than once, I believe. So I, I'm not I'm not concerned about that. I, you know, uh, Ukraine, again, there's no path to victory there. It's America is funding this thing. And um, and I, I, I've said many times, it's Europe's war. Let them fight the dadgum thing. We can't even, we're not, we're, we're worried about the border between Ukraine and Russia, but we haven't give, given this country one red cent for our own border. That's our concern. And I believe the American public is, uh, is just as frustrated about that situation, both sides of the aisle, every state in the union. Yeah, and we know that that uh, vote tomorrow for the nearly $100 billion uh, foreign aid package is still, at least for now, uh, s scheduled to, to happen as planned. The other question I had for you, Congressman, uh, when I heard that you were hopping on with us, uh, the Italian foreign minister said the U.S. was tipped off to these strikes. I mean, did you know about this last night? Was Congress made aware? No, no, we weren't. That's above my pay grade. I'm, you know, Dad Gavin, I'm the 435th most powerful member of Congress. So, yeah, the intelligence community would, would whisper that kind of thing. And I would dare say one, maybe two members of Congress might have known about it. But, but Israel doesn't need to check with us to defend itself. I, you know, Iran's a bad actor. And the only reason Iran is where it's at right now is because the current president has allowed them to, to basically get back into the oil business. Under Trump, you remember, they were bankrupt. They're putting out over two and a half million barrels a day and 80% of China's oil that they get is from Iran. So you can do the math, who our enemies are in this thing and who our friends are. And currently our White House is completely out of touch. And also they removed the embargo on the, um, on the drones, you know, they were at, through the UN. So, uh, you know, we have just, we're playing both sides of this thing and we need to, we need to get back with our friend Israel and, and just tell Iran to, to go pound sand. Mm -hmm. We heard you loud and clear, as we always do. Congressman Tim Burchett, always a pleasure. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Dad Gum, I hope you all have a good one, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Three, you as three well. Three Dad Gums. Did you count them? I, you know what? Yes, I did. I always do, sir.